When it comes to cultures, I always thought of the Japanese culture as one of the most fascinating one. And when it comes to genres, Grimdark and Cyberpunk were my all-time favorites, so you can imagine, when I first learned about Blind Fade Adonoyami, I was in. Big time. And thanks to Vasily and the 101 XP Publishing, I'm here to tell you all about it. So ladies and gentlemen, gamer boys and girls, welcome back to the pod and let's talk about Blind Fate Adonoyami. In this game you will play as Yami the Ronin who was left to dead, with limbs severed and eyes cut out. This immediate rest start works really well and creates the opportunity for the player to learn everything about the protagonist and the words that surround him. As Yami slowly comes to his senses, quite literally actually, so will the player with him. As the blind cyber samurai learns how to use its cybernetic body and its sensors, the world around him will open up as well. Since Yami lost everything, including body parts, he is out for revenge and so we take up our katana and raise our cannon arm and we start chopping. When it comes to the gameplay, Edono Yami has a lot in the bag. First we have to talk about how Yami perceives the world around him. You see, the mask of the Oni he wears creates a simulation of the world around the player, but firstly only old data will show, so the world will be deceiving until we can find some real life data to download so we can see the actual world around us. Before this happens though, Yami has to rely on its sensors. This can be toggled, so we can trace smells, sound waves and heat. And we'll need these as the enemies that are hunting for us are cloaked and if the player does not detect them soon enough, he or she is gonna have a bad time. Also when interacting with the world, the same sensors come in handy, for example by switching on the hearing sensor, a vent may appear and become interactable, allowing the player to proceed to the next room. Also this is the way how we will detect enemies weak points during the fights. When it comes to the genre, this game is a hardcore cyberpunk metroidvania with souls-like RPG elements. The game plays out in 2D, meaning we can go left and right, up and down, and so can the enemies, but luckily the fighting has a lot of variety to it, thanks to the skill tree where we can unlock new moves from. So despite in the beginning Yummy is a bit sluggish and weak, after a bit of playing, the opportunities will reveal themselves and we transform into a teleporting katana-wielding manifestation of wrath. The moves are well sought out and easy to combo together, the fights are fast-paced and with the finishers it is really fun to use. Though I must mention, as this is a metroidvania, the game is really hard even on normal difficulty, so take this into consideration when it comes to the game. Luckily, we can always call our trusty crane to get back to the dojo, where we can acquire new skills and upgrades and train against simulations, so we can learn how to fight against the enemies. The game uses the Unreal Engine to give us the looks, and I have to say the devs at Togrobite Games did make a fantastic world. Let it be a cyberpunk city, or a dojo on a mountain, or a shanty town down the coast, the world is detailed and well sought out, and the game supports RTX, so that's another big plus. Graphically the game is sound, there are no glitches, no visual problems, but if I want to be really nitpicky, there are some minor details that are not as well created than most of the world, and in comparison might look a bit weird and dated, but really that's the only thing I can bitch about. When it comes to the plots and writing, it's decent work without going into detail too much, because of potential spoiler alerts. It's a revenge story through the cyberpunk Edo era. Yami the Ronin wants to kill the goddess who took everything from him and wants to redeem himself and gain back the honor he lost so he can be a samurai again instead of a Ronin. So he teams up with Tengu, a sentient AI robot who helps him with his cybernetic body and feeds him info about the world. The main characters are really well written and the discussion between Yami and Tengu is really funny at times. Apart from these, nothing to write home about, the game main focus point are the fights anyway. When it comes to the anime variety, I can say there are many kinds of enemies, from the small fast ones that are hard to parry, the big hammer wielding ones who can pack a punch, big birds, turtle like defensive ones, fast attacking samurai and big as dragons and so on. Overall, I've enjoyed the blood and sweat I've put into this game, because it's a hard game, it requires precision and one must learn all about the enemies in order to react to their attacks, to dodge and to parry, but once I've succeeded, it was a great feeling each and every time. The world looks amazing, the main characters are well detailed, the voice acting is good, 
And apart from some minor visual problems, and apart from the game being hard, I've only found one bug that stopped me, but I could not recreate it. So all in all, I can but recommend this game for those who love this genre, and I'd like to thank again for 101 XP Publishing for reaching out and giving an opportunity to showcase this game. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed my time with Edo no Yami. Give this video a thumbs up, as it helps us immensely with the algorithm, and while you're at it, why not subscribe? It's free. So I'll see you in the next video. I was Golly, Escape Pod, out.